Hi everyone, so today in this video I'm going to do a really really big haul. I've been shopping at Target and Walmart and I've just been buying a lot of things in anticipation of um, the baby, my second baby coming, um, which is this month. <laughs> Hard to believe. And um, so I got a few baby new mom items, not too many because it's going to be my second daughter so I didn't have to buy too many baby things. And um, I got stuff for my almost four year old and then I got stuff for myself. I haven't been shopping really for over a year now. Well not over a year, um, since like, since last year because I just, I just haven't, I haven't been shopping this year. And I got most of the baby stuff ready including like the crib and the changing table, the car seat, all those other, you know, those big item things like all, the, the, the setup is all done but there's just like small little items that I had to get and things like that. So if you are interested in watching, um, then, or if you're interested in seeing what I got, then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to talk, um, show you guys are the baby stuff that I got. And um, this is one of the things that I got. I got this from Walmart. It is a two-pack child of mine, um, which is a Carter's brand. And they're the baby gowns, or the newborn gowns. So it's basically like a onesie, but without legs, and they have like a hole at the bottom. And uh, for some reason, I only have one of these for, um, from Nanai, so I thought it would be good to get a couple more because I think I really like these. Because especially like at night and for for things like that, um, I, when I had to when I just have to change the baby, like it's just easier just like to pull up the pull up the gown and then change her and then pull it back down instead of having to deal with pants or because um, I don't even know if they can wear pants like right in the beginning when when the belly button, the, when the cord hasn't fallen off yet, but, um, so I just got these. I did keep the receipt and I'm not going to open these until the baby comes to see if I actually need it, um, because maybe I will put pants on her, I don't know, maybe this time will be different, but, uh, I got these, these were two, in a two pack it was like nine, like ten dollars, around ten dollars. Um, for the baby I also got this box of formula. Now my intent or hope is to breastfeed obviously but with Nene I had problems breastfeeding like I didn't I didn't have enough milk so I had to do half breastfeeding half formula and this was the kind that the hospital happened to have and I didn't get formula when Nene was born because um, I just thought I was just gonna be you know breastfeeding but um, I didn't have enough milk so this was the uh, brand that the hospital had and she took she took it well in the hospital so we just stuck with that brand and I'm actually not sure what brand of formula that the hospital that I'm delivering um, baby number two I don't know what um, brand of formula that they use or have um, but hopefully it'll be this because they say you know if your baby takes you know a particular formula well then you should just stick to that formula so hopefully they have this brand and I got this um, one that has iron in it and these are just like two two ounce bottles which are perfect for newborns and then I got this is for like you know my mom you know like new mom stuff I got lanolin for breastfeeding which I like lived on this stuff when I was breastfeeding and I have inverted nipples so um, my doctor recommended that I get nipple shields and I didn't use nipple shields with with um, my first daughter so I decided to get it just in case I have I'm not going to open it yet because it does say for proper sizing consult a lactation professional and things like that hopefully I won't even need it I would prefer just to do skin on skin but I the, like this is kind of like a just in case so at first I got the medium size this is by Medela but then I was like looking at it more carefully, I'm like, uh, maybe this is too big, so I got the small size. So I got both. Um, I have the receipt, and if I need, you know, like, hopefully I won't need it at all, and then I can just return both of them, but, um, otherwise I will just, uh, figure out which one is the right size, and I will use that, and return the one that I don't use. So that's really all that I, oh, I got this. I got some baby lotion, so the pink stuff, and I tried, I got this at Target, and Target has their own brand um, of this, you know, like compared to this. Um, and I tested it out because there was one that was that was already open. So I tested it out. And when I tested the Target brand one out, it it was like very 
like when I was like rubbing it into my skin it was like oily and I don't remember this being just like a, a slick layer of oil like this is actual actual lotion so I just bought the um, the brand name so that is pretty much all I got for the baby I'm trying to think I, I that's all that I got for the baby I mean I don't know if I'm gonna need I don't think I'm going to need more bottle nipples. Um, I was thinking about getting the hydrogel pads for breastfeeding, but um, I'm just going to wait and see how that goes to see if I need it. And yeah, like I said, it's really convenient when you have um, the same gender baby because a lot of the stuff you can actually reuse. So next I'm going to show you the stuff that I got for Nai Nai. Um, so I got her these shoes, these new shoes for like the, the start of the new school year, plus her like sneakers were like getting really dirty inside, so I got her uh, a new pair of shoes, they were like Mary Jane's. But um, she's kind of been sometimes complaining about the strap. So I ended up getting her the pair of sneakers that she has been wearing like the last, the last two sizes. Um, but in a size bigger and I these are from Target and these are the shoes that she has like never has a problem with and they're really good um, they're they are the Circo brand they are a little on the pricey side when I bought it for her the last few times I got them on clearance but um, kind of we need this in desperation kind of um, so this was not on clearance and these were 20 bucks 19.99 uh, but they're really good they're very um, what I do when I test out kids uh, shoes. I see if they're like I, I try to go on like a surface and see how how much it slips, and this doesn't slip at all. And I know that these are really comfortable for her because she's worn them twice before in um, the two smaller sizes. And this was the last pair, and I'm really glad that I found these. Uh, yeah, I think they're actually boy shoes, but who cares? <laughs> I sometimes buy like boy stuff for her because um, I'm not really into the whole like she can only wear this gender or this assigned gender clothing and whatever um, and then apparently it's the beginning of September apparently though you know back to school is way over apparently and it's like Halloween already um, so in the one spot or the dollar section of Target they had like all that the, all of their Halloween stuff are is already out so I um, I kind of went a little overboard, honestly, um, and I was also in a rush, so I put a whole bunch of things in my cart, and then by the time I had to leave, I was in a rush, and I was didn't have time to like look through all the stuff um, to decide what I wanted to keep or what I wanted to buy and what I didn't want to buy. So I just kind of bought it all, and I was really bad. Sometimes when she's in school, I really miss her, and I get her a lot of stuff. Usually, when I like shop with her, it's like I'm more strict on what I get her. I say like, oh, you can only get one thing or whatever. This I got. I went overboard on the Halloween stuff. So I got her. I got her these four small sticker pads. Um, and they're 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 just stickers. She's right now really into stickers. She likes to like take them, peel them off, and put them on a piece of paper and things like that. So we have this Scream Social sticker book, which has holo with a holographic sticker page. And let's see what that looks like. That looks like this. So those are pretty cool. And then they have this Halloween character sticker book with glow in, with, with a glow in the dark sticker page, which I guess looks like that. And this comes with 363 stickers. This is 294 stickers. They're just a dollar each. And then, then this one's kind of cool. This is like an activity pad. So you there's like a blank face. And then um, there's like eyes and mouths and nose and stuff like that that they, that they could fill the face and then they have like different different faces or different things that you can make uh, different faces out of so I thought that was fun and then I got this one this is completely not Halloween but it is it, it kind of has that autumn fall vibe it's like orange on the back and brown and stuff like that and this just has like different kinds of animals and things like that and I also got her this this it, this was uh, three dollars and I kind of like these craft product projects um, I'm always looking for craft projects for her to do and this is fun so it's kind of like a gingerbread house s kind of thing where she gets to paint this and what I thought what she could do is it since it only comes with three 
color of paint, then she can like paint the whole thing and then maybe use stickers from here and like stick them on like wherever she wants because they had another like another house that had actual kind of like markings on it like with like a bat like drawings on the house um so i was debating between that one and this one but i like how this one has a little chimney on it so that's why i kind of got her these stickers that you know like after she paints it and after it dries she could put some stickers on it so i thought that was really fun and then going going along with the whole sticker thing, I saw these like really huge pads and these have over a thousand stickers. These were a little more expensive. These were three dollars. And this is a sticker. I didn't, couldn't decide which one sh you know she would be interested in. But this one's all about vehicles and things like that. So it has like a whole page of trains and boats and cars and trucks and airplanes and all this other stuff. So she has these and then or you know, I got her this. And then I also got her this one. This is all animals. So it has like circle animals and like actual animals and they have like letters. And it's just like all like marine animals, um, wildlife, stuff like that, like reptiles. So I thought that, I thought this was fun. I'm sure she can get good use out of it. She's, like I said, she's really into stickers and she was in school that day and I, <laughs> I really missed her. Um, and then I also got this in the dollar section, which are like these like little wafers. And it is her birthday coming up, so I was thinking um, she really likes these. So I was thinking that um, if we if we do like a little party or whatever, we can like put a cup on the table and just like put these straws out, kind of like little nibble nibble snack food at the party. And then this is like the biggest item for her. This is like her major birthday gift. And this is, she's really into Miles from Tomorrowland. This thing is like really expensive. It comes with like six figures and it was $30. But she really wanted this. This is like her major item that she wanted for her birthday. And these, these are pretty good. They had, they had um, a figurine set at the Disney store, but the, they're like static. They're on like a little podium thing and they, they don't move. This one is cool because their arms, their arms move. I don't know if their, their, it doesn't look like their legs move, but at least their arms move. And I kind of appreciate, you know, figurines that actually, you know, the, their, their body parts move. Maybe even, maybe even their head moves. So she's really into this and she has, she loves to collect these like figurines from all these different shows that she watches. So she already has like or shows or movies that she watches, so she already has like Big Hero 6 and um, The Incredible Figurines and stuff, stuff like that. They had Paw Patrol and now she is going to get um, the whole Callisto family from Miles from Tomorrowland. And yeah, so that is all the stuff I got for- oh! And then for Nene I also got um, a couple pieces of clothing for her because they were just on clearance and I thought they were really cute. So I got her these pair of jeans, and this what this is by Oshkosh, um, and the material is really soft. And the thing about these is that she doesn't wear like structured pants. She really only wears leggings, and I kind of want to introduce her to like real pants because I know in the real wor world sometimes you just gotta wear not leggings sometimes. <laughs> so I kind of want to introduce her to like uncomfortable clothes or whatever but at least for for being a pair of denim like these are like really soft and this was on clearance this was only 450 so I thought this was a really good deal and I'm hoping she'll like it and I intend to you know roll roll the cuff uh, roll the cuff at the bottom because I think that it looks really cute and I thought that, that this was a really good deal I got these at Target and then I also got this pair of pants at Target because I think these are also really cute these are like they're not, they're thinner than sweatpants, but they have that like, they're like joggers, that's what they're called. And I kind of have a pair of pants similar to this, I think mine has um, black trims here and here. But I thought it'd be fun to, um, well, A, I think it, these are really comfortable, and they're not leggings. Sometimes I just don't, like sometimes leggings, can, like they're comfortable, but sometimes they're also, they also can be annoying because it's sometimes like tight and you gotta like pull it up or whatever. So these are, these are really good, and, and they're not, 
sweatpants so it's not it's not that hot so but it's warm but it's not that hot and I think they're really cute <laughs> so these were also on clearance but more expensive um, they were 1050 so it's kind of expensive it, it's it's like double the price that we usually pay for her pants but um, but they're different and they seem comfortable and I think she'll like them um, and now some of the stuff that I bought for myself some toiletries, just regular toiletries. Um, I always have a backup of all of my like shampoo, conditioner, lotion, stuff like that. And I needed a backup of the lotion that I use. This is the Vaseline Intensive Care Essential Healing, the yellow kind. And I started using this probably for about a year maybe, uh, maybe a little bit less than a year. And I used to use this sometimes when I was a kid. So that's why I wanted to use it again. And I really like it. And this is the lotion that I've been using all throughout my pregnancy. And it's been working really fine and I, I believe stretch marks are caused by if you gain if you're gaining more or if you're gaining faster than your your skin can grow that's what causes stretch stretch marks not necessarily the moisturizer that you're using but um, that being said you know this is I didn't get the Palmers which is like for okay my camera just turned off for no reason at all and then I got a backup of uh, shampoo and I have to use like head and shoulders because I get dandruff um, but I decided to try a different the, a different kind and this is called green apple and I don't ever, I don't know if I ever remember seeing this but I looked at the ingredients and things like that I think they're all pretty much the same they just have different lines that have different scents and this is green apple and yeah it has that that fake apple smell that candy apple smell and um, Kind of like the, like the Jolly Ranchers, like green apple. And I thought that would be kind of fun for the fall time because to use during the fall. So I got that. And then I got a few, um, I got like a, and the rest is most, mostly clothing items except for this. I got a cur curling iron. This is my very first curling iron. Um, I've been thinking about getting curling iron for a while now. Um, I don't know if I know how to use it. Like I said, this is my first one. Um, but I'm excited to try it. It's Conair. It was from Target and it is the double ceramic curling iron. There's one that's like cheaper than this, but I thought maybe spending a few more dollars on a, on a double ceramic one would be, I don't know, healthier for my hair. Probably not, but, um, heat is heat, right? On your hair. But so we'll see how that is. That is a, that was a one inch curling iron. And the rest of the things that I got was um clothing clothing this is like undergarment cl clothing but target was having a sale um and it's you know usually it comes uh six in a pack but they have two bonus packs so this was 750 so it was like less than a dollar for underwear and i don't know why underwear honestly is so expensive but like just generic underwear it's not like victoria's secret or anything this is just Hanes. like why is it more than a dollar or whatever but anyway so this is 750 for eight so it was less than a dollar so I thought I was getting a good deal so I got two <laughs> and then um, I've been needing some <laughs> I've been needing some pajama pants let me let me go get it okay so this is this is really funny well it's kind of I, it's, it's partially embarrassing but I find it really hilarious so I will show it to you um, so these are the pants. Look and look how big these are. These are the pajama pants that I have been using all summer, and these are probably ten years old, maybe. Um, they are from Gap. Which when was the last time I shopped at Gap? Like, probably this is probably old, old over ten years old. Uh, I don't remember the last time I shopped at Gap. I remember shopping at Gap probably in high school. So it's probably way over 10 years old. But look how big these are. They're like all stretched. And they have like, like holes over here in the seam. And they have a huge hole, another hole at the seam at the back. So these are, oh, so these are, <laughs> these, 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 look how big this is. It's like 
as big as the screen. Um, these have to, you know, be put to rest. So I needed a pair of pajama shorts. And I can't believe like how difficult it is to find a pair of pajama sh shorts. I went to Walmart and they had a very, very small, very, very small section of pajama shorts. Like two small little racks, which was very sparse. And all of them were like extra, 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 extra large. Um, and so I couldn't get any of those. So I went to Target and I thankfully found these. I wasn't a big fan of the color to begin with, but it's kind of growing on me, and now that Nanai has seen it, that sh she's like, oh, I want a pair of shorts like this. Um, so now she knows what Coral is, so this is Coral, and this is by the um, brand Gilligan and O'Malley, and this was on the clearance rack. This was originally $12.99, and I got it for $9.08, and the material is like super soft, just as soft as this old one from from uh, from the gap or whatever and I didn't want so I didn't want such a big band because I liked I liked this where the band was smaller but um, this is I got a large <laughs> um, so it's it's very loose and it, it it is not a problem and they're really comfortable and just looking at the material it's like so soft that I love them and Gilligan, what was it called? Gilligan and O'Malley, the sleepwear, they, their material is really good. Um, I just want something that's like really, really soft and, the fa and it also has like a little drawstring. So the fact that I did get a large, it fits me now, pretty much. Um, if I lose weight after my pregnancy, I can probably just, you know, use this drawstring to, um, to tighten the waist and it should be fine. Um, I, I like when I... I like my sleepwear to be very, very, very loose fitting. And then, this was, um, I wasn't really looking for this, but I got this at Walmart. And this is just a pair of like fake jeans uh, leggings. And um, I don't know, leggings is pretty much all that I wear. Um, and this was $3.78, so the price was. The price was right, <laughs> and um, yeah. So I think I think I, the only thing I probably have to be careful about this is whether it will fade because this is like fake dark denim. And then the last few items. Oh, I got from this one was from Walmart, and these were like fake. They're like fake denim. They're like cloth and they are cuffed at the bottom and they have uh, like an elastic band here, it's like drawstring I thought these were really cute, maybe I'll do a little try on haul uh, maybe I'll like try these on to show you what it looks like and if I do then I will insert it uh, but these were really they're comfortable and I thought they were they looked cute and this was by the brand No Boundaries, this is from Walmart, this is $13.88 not the cheapest but not really like crazy expensive and then I got two things from uh, Target, and this I actually bought this stuff in the boy section because, you know, like when you if you could fit in kids' clothes, then it's generally cheaper. So I got this, and this is kind of these are for fall essentially. And the reason why I got this is because there's just I follow this blogger this blogger um the daybook blog and i remember seeing this i think last fall and she was wearing you know like a flannel shirt like this and she was like i just thought it was really cute and um so pretty classic flannel so this is in the boy section this is an, in an extra large and it's just regular flannel and i think i think um what i have to think about is that this fall I'm going to have to uh, breastfeed, so I'm going to want a lot of button-down tops uh, to breastfeed, so I got that, and I also got this. This is a kind of like a black wash denim, and it is also from the boys section. It's snap buttons, and I just thought this looked really cool. I just liked it, and I especially liked the cuff sleeves. And the sale that they were they had at Target 
was for kids clothes like mm, like toddler kids clothes any kind of like kids clothes they said if you buy forty dollars then you get ten dollars off so uh, I got this this shirt this shirt and then these pants for Nanai for thirty dollars I guess three items for thirty dollars so not too bad um, and that is my haul. Sorry if, if I was talking too quickly. I just had a whole lot of stuff and I didn't want this video to be like crazy, crazy, crazy long. Um, if you enjoyed these videos, please give it a thumbs up. And I guess that's it. Uh, please subscribe if you aren't already. And I look forward to talking to you in my next video. Bye.